Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hiya, monsters. Merry Christmas. Hello, monsters, and Merry Christmas. Hello, monsters. <laughs> Blah! Hiya, monsters. We're back again with another little challenge. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is really to say thanks for all y'all's support and everything. Um, it means a lot. I think it would be fun to try to do this little eggnog challenge again. This time though, I'm gonna pace myself. If you've seen the last video, I try to do it under three minutes. But this time, we'll take a little bit more time. We'll speed through it if need be. But in the process of drinking this eggnog, I have it in four quarts. We have one, two, three, and uh, four if I can hold on to them. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. They're nice ice and cold. So, <laughs> so tonight, I'm going to be drinking a, or I'm going to attempt to drink a gallon of eggnog. And also, in the middle of it, I'm going to read The Night Before Christmas for you guys. So, um. Okay, so we're back. Which you guys probably didn't go nowhere. But I do have the book. I have the cookies. And I have the eggnog. So we'll go ahead and crack open one of these. I'm going to try to chug this down. And, <laughs> and uh, we'll read The Night Before Christmas. So here we go. So, I'll open this up. You can see this right, that is eggnog. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And don't mind the noises in the background. There are wild beasts. Okay, monsters, so that's what we got so far. Like I said, we're not gonna rush this. Last time I tried to do this in three minutes, and it really hurt my belly. Okay, monsters, so it was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was staring. Not even a mouse. Stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their bed while visions of sugar plums danced in their head. Got it all the way down, you guys. Oh, and Mama and her, her and Mama and her. I don't really wear glasses. <laughs> and Mama and her kerchief and my pops in his cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flush. Oh God. I flew like a flash. Tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Okay, I'll finish this up real quick. down. Let's open up the 
next one. <laughs> Feeling it, man. We're either gonna get through the eggnog or we'll get through the story one. The moon on the breast of the new fall of snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew any moment it must be sank sick. I'm feeling sick. Saint Nick. We may speed through this uh, video a little bit because I could sit here for a minute. But we won't stop recording. <laughs> Not this time. And if we don't get through the eggnog challenge, I guess it's just that it, it's just my belly's not big enough. I feel like with the last one I'm gonna puke. I feel like I'm gonna puke now. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Great picture. There's dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, where they bet with an obstacle out to the sky. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's gonna come up. So up on the house top, the courses they flew. And with a sleigh full of toys, a St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little roof, of hoof. As I drew in my head and I turned, and I was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his pack. <laughs> I'm sweating, yo. How many pages is this book? Oh. Yeah. 
teary-eyed here. Thank you guys so much. I think this is gonna be another fail. I'll just give it a minute. Well, I'm not going to be able to do this gallon. Might have got a little less down than I did last year. But, like I said, oh, we're not going to finish the story either. <laughs> I got to go clean up. But thanks again, you guys. I appreciate you. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Ugh. Also, a dear friend of mine decided he would take down this challenge too. And a link to his video will be in the description below. Um, a lot of you may know him as Fear J. He'll have a video of as well on his other channel. What is that? Well, happy holidays, monsters. I can't do it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay, monsters. Well, I feel a little better, so I thought at least we'll finish this story. Uh, so here we go. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His, his cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly or eggnog. <laughs> Should I try to drink some more? Ooh, I threw up on this one. Okay. <laughs> he was chubby and plump. A right old jolly elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He sprang to a sleigh and gave a whistle, and away they flew like down on a thistle. <laughs> but I heard him exclaim to be drove out of sight. Yo, happy Christmas to all and all a good night. 